Welcome to NC Spin Perspectives, thoughts from North Carolina opinion leaders. We're talking with Dr. George Griffin, former teacher, principal, and program director for DPI. Thank you, George, for being with us. George, you wrote an op-ed piece for the News and Observer not long ago, and you said the education system culture embraces a system of status quo, and that if we're really going to change education, we got to blow up that status quo. <laughs> That sounds pretty radical. Are you saying the only way we're going to really change and improve education is by blowing it up? Well, Tom, I didn't write the headline. Uh, but, you know, maybe dismantling some of the major parts of the system that we have today, certainly our accountability program. Uh, you know, I wouldn't go so far as to use the word blowing up. But we, we do need to make some major systemic changes rather than just fixing things around the edges. I'm curious as to what kind of response and reaction you got to that piece. Well, I've gotten quite a bit of comments from people who say two things. Wow, great ideas. This is wonderful. Some of the veterans say, we've tried this before and a lot of it works, but we just don't have the, the wherewithal or the go-ahead to do it today. And then other people have said, how come we're not doing it? One thing that's really puzzled me about uh, education is that you, you talk about a culture of status quo, and I think it is certainly there. I, I've been kind of confused. Why aren't the people in the education system, the teachers, the principals, the superintendents, the school board members, why aren't these people standing on the rooftops begging for change and reform? Well, Tom, I think a lot of people are, quite honestly. If you were to interview principals, teachers, even superintendents, they'll tell you, yes, we would like to be able to do these things. We have a leadership structure in North Carolina that works against change happening very rapidly. There's three or four different agencies and leaders involved in the process from the General Assembly to the State Board of Education to the Department of Public Instruction, then your local school boards. And the governor. And the governor's office. Parents. Exactly. So with all those groups having a piece of leadership, there's no one clear mandate, let's head in this direction. So, so I, you lead into my, my next question. What is it going to take to change the status quo? Well, I think it's going to take the powers that be, and I would say really the General Assembly, uh, putting out there a request for a school system to try and do things a big time different. Uh, just, you know, pass a bill and put some money with it and say, you know, we'd like to hear your proposals. But there's systems like Mark Edwards' system in Mooresville graded schools that are doing things different and getting incredible results and they're not being embraced. Why? I, I, I don't know why they're not being embraced because in a district like that, which I'm not speaking specifically about his, but there are some systematic things school districts can do to improve what they're doing. And that's a district that can do it well within the confines of what it has to work with. And so, I, I mean, I travel around the country and visit school districts all the time and evaluate them. And when I go into districts that have certain components in place, the students are doing well. Other components, uh, that are, the components that are lacking, and those components are, are pretty clear. A clear focus on purpose and mission. A clear leadership structure. A clear focus on how students learn and what goes on in the classroom. And then ultimately, how to use your data to improve what you're doing with students rather than to evaluate are we successful or are we failures. So school districts that are doing those things can operate at a much higher level, even within our given structure. Thank you, George Griffith, for being on NC Spend Perspective. Thank you, Tom. <laughs>